Alrighty, guys. I don't think you're ready for this one, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's black and yellow. <laughs> Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say first off, thank you so much for clicking on the video and that we are also on our way to a thousand subs. So if you guys are new here or have been around for a while and just haven't subbed yet, please consider subscribing as it is the best way to support my channel. And anyways, on to the video. Hey guys, we are back with another episode today and today we are going to be finishing up the fairy pen, egg pen, and... We are going to get the Dinoticus one done, so we're going to finish up the egg pens today. No matter what, they're getting done. Alrighty, so if you guys did see last episode, we did already put down the basics of the foundation, but I didn't 100% finish it. So we're going to do that right now, and then I'm also going to show you guys the shape. So that way, if you guys do want to copy it, you guys can. But yeah, we're going to finish off the foundation here real quickly, and then we're going to start putting up walls. Alright, so finishing touches... Blam. So the way this is, it is a 9x9, nine nine, or was it? It's a 3x3 three three square, so was it 9 normal foundations? And then along the sides, it just has some, what is it, of these triangle pieces to add some bulk to it. And not, like, take up too much room, but I'm pretty sure this should, like, hold them. Because, was it, we'll throw the guy that we got yesterday out. So yeah, if I have them all like that, I should be able to get, I want to say five, maybe six of them in there. Of course, five females, if I'm lucky, and one male. So that's what we're going to be have, aiming for to fit in here. So I'm actually going to leave you there so that way I can use you as a, what is it, size reference for what I'm trying to fit. Okay, so I got some structures crafted up here. I got 10 walls, 6 doors, and then I got a gate, which is actually going to be the actual door. If I could get it to snap here. I know what I'm going to have to do to get it to snap there, and I really was hoping I wouldn't have to, but I am. Uh, I got to make more foundations, but let's see exactly how many walls will we need. Okay, we could get away with 3 high. And then, what we could do, is that, yeah, I'm just trying to wrap around the walls here. Okay, we could do it that way. Definitely going to have the, these two ones solid. But, what I would really like to do... Is, you know, just have a wrapped around window kind of system like that. Then we'll do another one like that on top. And then we'll do a bunch of, was it? We'll do thatch roofs again, but we're going to have them corner, like cornered roofs. It's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. Okay, so this thing's getting a new entrance because it's just pissed me off. So, bye. What we're going to do is going to be a little bit more difficult now, if I'm being completely honest. But I got pissed. <laughs> okay. I mean, it just, everything was working fine, working fine. And then I just came back, put the door down. Door didn't put down, but the gate broke. So, yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> we're going to just finish this up. Um, I got an idea here for the final layer of wall, actually. Let me, let me see if I can do this. Alrighty, this thing might look a little wonky. Also, it just got really dark really quick. Let's turn up our gamma. Dang, here we go. Ramps down, we'll place a railing. Sorry, Mo Moss Chop. Where did that railing go? Is it inside of this? Please tell me you're in here. No? We're here somewhere? I know where it is. It's somewhere in there. I think the railing's in the... Wait, no. Where did it go? Okay. Um. I can't craft one on me. But anyways, back to this. So we're going to place down these walls like a so. Just like that. And then we're gonna... Wrong one, I need four. 
and then five. Okay, so that should fit them in for help. Okay. Um, let's start getting some. What is it ceiling up? All right, so we're gonna go start here with the thatch walls to put up. Or well, the thatch ceilings actually. So we got these. But, you know how Thatch doesn't have a corner piece? Yeah, we're gonna have to improvise. So... In <laughs> improvising. Hopefully not for long, because... <clears throat> we got six. Boom! Just another one. Okay, so I need not too many more ceilings. Hopefully. I'll see what I can do about this. Okay, I got some more ceilings here, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This thing might look a little wonky, but it's the best I can come up with to fit over here in this little corner that I have chucked out for them, or cut out for them. I mean, it's just like the best I can think of right now. I ain't gonna lie. So, I'm doing my best. I promise you that. And I'll keep on trying to do that as long as this base is still up and going. Okay. Oh, I got this last one here. We'll use it to fill in that gap. You know what? You probably won't even notice it. Because you know what? There's going to be a fairy over here. And you're just going to be looking down over here and in here for eggs. And either way, once I get these guys powered up. Because what do you need? I think you're the one that needs... Yeah, you need kale soup. But you need propellant. And the only way I can get propellant right now is through a grinder. The S Plus Industrial Grinder. So I have to make it in there. But otherwise, I'd have to go to Scorch Earth to get it. Also, these guys are producing honey, finally. This one produced one? Yeah, it did. Okay. I went over to Finyordor and got some honey, because that's actually all you need for the S plus ones. I thought you actually needed a domesticated beehive, but you don't. And these things are so much better. So, go with the S plus ones and just go over to Finyordor or somewhere that has, like, harvestable honey. And get a hun- was it- not even- well, I got a hundred of it, because that's what I thought I needed. But you only need 50 honey to craft those, so it's awesome. Alright, so I got the final ruse for the, was it, the fairy pen here. Sorry, I'm kind of, I've just been thinking about the next design, but. So the fairy pen is going to look a little wonky, and I am 100% sorry about that. But there's not really much I can do in the terms of beautifying it. I mean, this is, I mean, is going to be the best it gets. If I'm honest. Because I originally had a plan for a gate. But I didn't know how I was going to connect the ceilings and all that. And I think this actually probably works out for the best. It's a lot simpler. It's also. It's not an entirely flat roof. I'm glad I added in the slope here. Also saved me some resources. Cutting down the final half here. But if I like. I did give them headroom. You can't say I didn't give them headroom. Alright. And now that it's morning. I just got my new paints here for this house. So, let's go and set this up and get it going. Okay, I figured out the colors here. So, we're going to have purple for the primary. And then we're going to do highlights in the pink. So, I'm going to get this thing painted up. Okay, it's got the purple. But now that I'm going in with the pink highlight, I'm not 100%. I don't know. I'm going to get the walls. Um, I got to figure out. Hold up, here's the best way to figure out something. Because I know it's not 1 and 6, because that's what I hit everything else with already. Everything else has been hit with 1 and 6, so... I need to be careful about that. I don't think I can get these railings. Why is it I got... Hold up. I could paint these fence posts. Are these not... These are S-plus fence posts. But now I can't paint any of these sloped ones. Or I'm wondering if it's just a bug with the sloped ones where they do not show... You know, that they're, uh, colored. Because they're sloped. 
I'm just wondering. That might be what the case is. Not a hundred percent ease. I also should do this from outside so I can make sure I'm painting the right things. Okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. I don't know why I went with pink and purple. I honestly don't. I just looked up the recipes for the most disgusting colors I could find. Alright. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't. Honestly, don't. It's just pink. It's just pink and purple. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I did go one step further. <laughs> the roof is pink. This thing is pink. This is it gets. It's just vibrant. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to tell right now as well because it's in the shadow. So, I will gamma up. Where you guys can see it a bit better. But, yeah. I like it. It's not bad. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It did not turn out as bad as I thought it would be once it was completely pink. Not at all. It is pink, though. That is one, one pink. That's one pink structure. I ain't gonna lie. Alrighty, guys. So now we are on to the final egg pen. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad we're here. Because <laughs> this is gonna be... Was it? I'm gonna have to hatch these guys up next episode. I thought about getting one this episode, but I decided not to. So we're gonna just get the pen done. And we're gonna just legit steal the raptor pen. It's gonna be an exact copy. Ain't gonna lie. Um, I think that's exactly as far as I'm gonna need it forward as well to fit. Yep. I did think about having it go one more back, but I decided not to. Um, that fits just right. It does, again, I know it does stick out a bit, but I mean, I did receive the raptor one back quite a bit, and we got like a big old chunk of room here, and it's, it's not that much, all right? It's not that much. Well, I did go ahead and craft up some ramps, but I did run short on wood, I believe. So I will have to go get more wood. But we do got ramps for this already, which I am happy about. So just one more. I gotta go get wood. Um, are there still trees over on the mountain? There are still trees. Ooh, there's one right there. So yeah, I'm gonna need wood. <laughs> I need a lot more for this structure because I keep running out. And I'm gonna, I yeah, I gotta do a quick resource run. So yay, this is gonna be awesome. Um, luckily though, the Sinnoh does make it a lot easier. And I do kind of trust the ground more now. As you can see there, you don't need much from the tree or from the bushes in the redwoods to get resources. You don't need much from the trees either. Okay, I missed the tree, but we'll fly back around and get it. Or, you know what? If you hit parachute, you'll turn quicker, I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah. These give you quite a bit of wood. Not gonna lie. Like, they give you quite a bit. I do remember there was a Rex up here, so I gotta be careful. I don't see him anymore. I'm guessing the... What's it? The Brontos probably took him out already. He was up here... Up here a while ago. I was wondering what that sound was. I think it was the Pterodon. But yeah. I think that should be good on our wood. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know what? I actually need some thatch. So, do I got my pick on me? I don't. I can get thatch with this though. I'm 100% sure. Come on. No. No, I can't. Jeez, I thought, okay. For some reason I thought those give you thatch if you hit this with those. But I guess not, I guess I have to get a pick. Okay, so that would be the doorway done. And I think all I need now is some windows to put along the sides. And we should have just, we should have an exact copy of the raptor pen over here. I'm pretty sure the Deinoticus should work the same as the raptors. They're about the same size, so they'll fit, but I'm guessing, I'm hoping, really, that they work. I'm 
I'm not a hundred per- I'm 85% sure they'll fit in here. Alright. I should be able to get 10 Deinonychus in there. So, yay. I'm hoping. I'm actually just hoping I can get 10 in there. <laughs> oh, I should have hatched one today. I ain't gonna lie. Probably should have. I'm also going to go put all these resources in here because I keep on accidentally crafting normal wooden walls. And I don't need normal wooden walls. I need six of these walls. Okay, and then thatch. I need... What am I needing? More wood and thatch? I'm... Yep. Okay, I think I left my pick in here. I'm not 100% sure, certain. I did. Let's actually hotbar these. Get my hot bar back up and going in order. Alright. Uh, I do got an S plus ceiling for thatch already. So. Alright. Yeah, I only need two of these. And then we should be good with that middle row. Then I'll just have to go out and get some to make some slow troops. Okay. So, we're going to give this side walls as well, or windows as well, so that way the raptors have a nice view of the pink, or the Deinoticus just have a nice view of the pink wall on the other side of their existence. And there we go. That's the starting of the ceiling. Did I do that over? Yeah. So, we're going to try, we just legit, it's just this one copied over. What is going on with you guys? They're just making a bunch of noise. They're just being loud. Alright, final roofs. Let's go here and there, and then... Boom. Alright, um... I'm not 100% sure on the colors I'm gonna do for this, but... I got an idea. Alrighty, guys. I don't think you're ready for this one, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's black and yellow. <laughs> I just had these ones like leftover ones. Cause like I would forget narco berries and like what are they? The amber berries in the in the cooking pot, so it's just leftovers. <laughs> but oh my god, the farm is complete. Oh it's awesome, I ain't gonna lie. It's really nice. I'm so glad it's done. I guess we might have do some like minor other finishing touches, like maybe making a, a cementing paste farm using the snails and maybe an ovis one over here. But that's definitely going to be further down the road. I don't have the stuff for that right now. Um, but we're, what we're going to focus on next here is actually getting it up and running. We've got it put together. We've got some minor stuff running, such as all this. We got, what was it? We're producing flowers and mushrooms. A bunch of them along with a bunch of berries all right guys i think this is gonna be it for this episode we did get the we did get the last two pens built i am happy about that um i think next episode we're gonna be doing basically breeding hatching eggs so it's gonna be a lot of work because i gotta get these guys all lined up um I think I need two more raptors. Yeah, I just need two more raptors. You see how I got OCD'd and I went and lined them up with each and every one of those. But more importantly, I need to start getting resources so I can make propellant and I can just start automating, automate. Bleh. Is that a Sino egg? That is a Sino egg. I guess this guy laid an egg. So I can start automating stuff. But yeah, this is gonna be it. So if you guys loved what you saw, again, Please do like and subscribe, especially if you guys are new here or if you've been around for a while. It would be really appreciated and really help out the channel. But yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshine More, signing off. Peace.